across Staffordshire and Cheshire. Today's best mix, Signal One News. With the latest, I'm Sarah Robertson. One person's died and two are fighting for their lives after a nine-vehicle pileup on the M6 near Sambach. Ten people were injured in total when two HGVs, two vans and five cars collided this morning. David Cameron's described the death of nurse Jacintha Salhana as an absolute tragedy. The 46-year-old who answered a royal hoax call was found dead in a suspected suicide on Friday. And the last of the big six energy providers is raising its prices in the new year. Eon's increasing its electricity and gas costs for its customers from January the 18th. Signal Sport. With Stoke Audi by Britannia Stadium, where you can drive away with your new 62 plate today. A football fan from Cheshire who attempted to confront Rio Ferdinand during yesterday's derby with Manchester United is facing a lifetime ban from Manchester City. 21-year-old landscape gardener Matthew Stott from Nutsford has been charged with encroaching the pitch. He's apologised for his actions and has had his season ticket for the remainder of the season removed by the club. Nine people have been charged in total. There's one Premier League match tonight. Newcastle are chasing their opening top flight away win of the season when they face Fulham at Craven Cottage. And Stoke City's manager isn't getting carried away after his side extended their unbeaten run to six games. Boss Tony Pulis says their forthcoming matches aren't easy. We've got a tough Christmas period. The two games at home, Everton and Liverpool, two top giant Merseyside clubs, and that'll be tough. But we look forward to it. Plenty of confidence. Lads have got plenty of confidence. And what we've got to do now is just make sure we keep working as hard as we have. That's the latest. There's more at signal1.co.uk. Signal One. No sign of the beast from the east yet. This is the ice and snow that's coming over from Russia.